baby, this is what you came for Lightning strikes every time she moves Okay, so to get started, I'm going to be taking my NYX eyeshadow base in ESB03. Yes, I am switching it up from the original white that I always wear. I know. Next, I'm taking CoverGirl's True Naked Nudes palette, and I'm taking this kind of taupey brown shade, and this is just going to be our transition shade just because we're working with a lot of dark colors today. Um, so this kind of helps it to be not so harsh, and I'm just really going to blend this in um, just because I really don't want that harsh line whenever you're working with like bright colors and really dark colors at the same time. So that is what I'm doing here. Just keep blending it until you feel like you've blended it enough. Next, I'm going to be taking the black shade, and this is a matte black shade from the same palette, and I'm just taking this on a crease brush, and I'm literally putting this in my outer V area and working it up into my crease. Um, I will say just work in small areas when you're using this because there's a lot of fallout that comes with it and it's so pigmented that you don't want too much because then you kind of have a hot mess all over your hands. So I am just taking a little bit at a time, kind of blending it into that taupe color and then I will go in with a clean blending brush and just blend it all together just because I don't want any harsh lines and I want it to blend smoothly. Next, I'm going to be taking a little bit more of the same black color, and I'm just going to just add a little bit more, just because you kind of lose some of the intensity when you're trying to blend it out. So it's like you keep adding a little bit, and then you blend it out. Add a little bit, blend it out. That's just kind of how I roll with things. I don't want to do it all at once. We'll just do it in small pieces, and it just looks for a better blending, bl better blended effect. I can't even talk today. Don't judge. Now I'm taking the white shade, and it's kind of got a little bit of a shimmer to it. Um, it's kind of a champagne color, and I'm just taking that on a shader brush, and I'm literally putting this on the inner part of my eye, going up to the crease, and I'm just doing patting motions just so I can get that really bright white color. Um, so that is what I'm doing here. I'm not going all the way up into the crease, as you can see. Next, I'm taking NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. This is the Brights palette. I am obsessed with this palette, and I'm taking this gorgeous purple shade. This is the darkest purple in the palette, and I'm just going on top of the taupe color and the black color, and I'm just blending this into both of them um, because I really want that purple to pop. Um, this was requested that it's purple, black, and gold, so I really want the purple to be seen. So that is what I'm doing here, and I'm just working that in. Now I'm taking this kind of, I don't know, I want to say fuchsia purple color, and that lighter purple color, and I'm just going on top of it, and this is just really going to brighten up that purple. Um, the other one's pretty dark, so this one's really just going to really, really, really brighten it up. And when you're working with this, just keep on blending. Um, I know I sound like Dory right now, but just keep blending. Next, I'm taking my NYX. Um, this is my glitter glue, and I'm just patting this on my finger. This is the best way for me to put it on. Otherwise, I just get it everywhere. And I'm just putting that on the inner part of my eye. Next, I came in with my Max Gold Glitter. You can use any glitter if you like any glitter, like any color that you want, but I did gold because it's what was requested. So any gold glitter will work. Just do patting motions because you don't want a lot of fallout. Tilt your head back a little bit just so you don't get it all over your face. Now I'm taking my Palladio um, liquid eyeliner. This is just black and I'm just going to do a normal winged eyeliner or normal winged eye, <laughs> oh my gosh. And I'm just going to really wing it out. This is for a dance competition, so this has to be really dramatic, um, I think. So that is why it's really, really dramatic. Um, then I put on some mascara, and I'm going back in with that purple shade, and I'm just going to add a little bit more just so I can bring some of that intensity back. 
um, and I'm just going to keep blending. I also use my fingers sometimes. That also helps smooth out the colors. And I'm gonna go back in with a black on the crease brush, and this is a smaller crease brush, and I'm literally just going to pack it in that outer V area. And I'm just concentrating it on that area just because I want that smoked out, real dramatic effect. So that is what I'm doing here. And I did work it up into crease a tiny, tiny bit. Now I'm taking L'Oreal's Miracle Blur. This is the oil-free one. If you have oily skin like me or combination, get this one, it's way better. Um, now I'm taking my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. This is in medium 54. And since it's for a competition of some sort, I felt like full coverage just really, really, really needed to be full coverage. And this this foundation really does do photographs very well. Um, there's not a lot of light reflect whenever you're taking pictures and stuff, so that is why I went ahead and went with this foundation. And I'm just blending it in like normal with my e.l.f. foundation brush. And that is all I gotta say about that. It's just my normal how I put on foundation. <laughs> now I'm taking this Hard Candy Light Bright Whipped Brightening Concealer. As you can see, this is white as hell. Um, this is like the most dramatic white um, concealer I've ever seen in my life. Um, so just remember to work fast when you use it. And yeah, just work fast because it dries so fast. But it's really creamy. It blends out very well. You just have to go fast. So I'm just taking my... Um, I think this is the Ulta Angled Foundation Brush. I love this brush for concealer. Don't know why. I don't know. I just do. And I'm just going to blend that in. When I get too close to my lashes, I'm always scared I'm going to screw up like my makeup. So I always go on my finger right there and just kind of pat it in um, just so I can get as close to those lashes in the inner corner area as I possibly can without screwing everything up. Now I'm taking this NYX Stay Matte, not flat, um, this is powder, and I believe this is in warm beige. And I'm just taking that on a fluffy brush and just putting it everywhere. Um, I'm setting my whole face with this. Um, I didn't bake because the concealer is so bright, you don't really need to bake. That's my opinion. I just didn't do it today. And then I'm taking this e.l.f. pressed setting powder, and I'm going over everything else. This just helps um, minimize pores and fine lines and stuff. Now I'm taking this Ulta contour kit and I'm taking the, those two darker shades and I'm just going to contour the shit out of my face. I want the contour and the highlight and everything just on point today. So I'm literally just piling it on. Like I really want that contour to just real, just be really bright. And I mean, I just want that cheekbone to just pop. So that is what I'm doing here. And I'm just going down the center of my nose like I normally do, just the normal, you know. Now I'm going back in with that darkest purple shade and I'm just taking it and I'm going to run it along my lower lashes. Um, and I did go all the way in. I cut it off. I don't know why. Now I'm taking that brighter pink, purple, whatever, fuchsia color, and I'm going to do that on the inner part, kind of in the middle area. Um, just because it's a lot brighter and I feel like it really just brightens the whole look and it, it uh, makes the top blend in with it as well. Now I'm taking this highlight shade. I forgot what this is called. I'll leave it in the link below. But it is just like an inner corner highlight. It's so freaking like bright. I don't know. I just felt like I wanted to use it. So I went ahead and used it today. This really opens up your eyes and makes your eyes look more awake. Now I'm going in with blush. And I forgot to show you guys what it was. But this is actually Milani Sunset Beach. It's my normal blush that I wear. Now I'm taking Revolution Makeup's Vivid. Um, baked highlighter and this is in Radiant Lights. It's one of my favorite highlighters and I'm just going to pile it on. Um, I want you to be able to see me from like another country. That's how bright I want this highlight to be today and I'm just really putting it on the high points of my face just to really bring all the contour and everything together. I think this is really flattering. Um, it just makes you look, I don't know, I love it. I don't even know how to explain it. Now I'm taking the new Katy Perry's um, Katy Cat Matte. Um, this is like matte lipstick from CoverGirl. And this is called Perry Panther. It's so cute. All the names are like really cute. But I wanted a matte black. And so that's why I picked this one up. And I'm obsessed with it. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and darken up my eyebrows just a smidge. Um, this is the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder in Medium. 
And now I'm going to put on a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. See you later.